It's going to be pure Camp America, Camp Counselor, Parent Trap Vibes. I'm doing another day of my life, another productive uni day. Because it motivates me, and I think if you're at uni, hopefully we can like study together. I don't actually have any classes today, but my plan is just to be in uni like all day. I've got a lot to do. Also, I got like lots of new subscribers since I posted my last video, like at least like 200, I think. So I've got to keep my new best friends in our chain. So, oh, it's also like outfit season. But mine are, mine are a little bit mouldy. I don't know if mouldy is the right word. Mine, my looks are just not in best form. I got them like really drenched one day and I think they just like didn't dry properly. I will bring you along. We'll just have a motivated, wholesome day. Yeah. But I've got a little pink room. Yeah, like I just feel like I will work better alone. <laughs> I never know what to show when I'm studying because I'm like, all I'm doing is like sitting typing on a laptop. I was in uni like 10 till like 2 in the library just working. And then I went out for food there. I went to Project Coffee. It was so cute. I'm playing like piano jazz. I just felt like I was somewhere in like France or something. It's like 3 o'clock now. I'm going to stay here for like a few more hours and then the gem with chills. I'm back from the gym, ignore the state of me. Ignore it, please. Um, I am gonna make dinner, I'm gonna make vegetarian bolognese. I made it last night and it was just all right, but I know what I need to do to make it better. It just like wasn't saucy enough. <laughs> Like half the time I make something, I sit there and I'm like, I'm never making this again. But there's just something so lovely about cooking. Like I love cooking. And I mean like from scratch, like chopping your ingredients, like frying, like multiple pots. I love it. And I don't do it enough because I have such a fear of making myself ill. To be fair, we are actually in this flat, like we are actually good for cooking. Like not so much me. I am quite an air fryer gal. Like I have my air fryer like a lot of the time, like five times out of the week, I'm having like turkey dinosaurs in my air fryer. The past like two months, I've just been trying to make better habits, like just like a settling down era. Like I was very much going out like multiple times a week this time last year, or even just a few months ago. And I like missed that era a bit. Like it, it was fun, you know what I mean? But I'm really enjoying this like settle down era. It's my like, getting shit done, getting on top of stuff, cooking. I can't say cleaning because I don't keep my room clean. But the cooking, uni, gym in, look after myself, era is good. 
Let me stir my bolognese. Don't know if it'll taste good, but it looks good. It's actually decent. I um, I put loads of cumin in it. I don't even know what cumin is. I thought cumin was part of like the cinnamon family, but I just looked on TikTok at like bolognese recipes. I won't even put cumin in it, so. Hello from the bathroom floor. <laughs> this seems like the best place to do this. So I like dyed my hair dark like two weeks ago, but it's like already fading and I want to keep it dark. So I got this like glaze black brown hair dye. It's not a dye, it's just a gloss you put on it like tint your hair. And I got a wee face mask as well. I thought we could just have face mask and chaps. Because I'm not going to lie, I edit my vlogs while I video them. So like I've already edited today's up to like dinner time. And like I'm not very chatty. It's hard to be chatty because I'm actually doing like uni work and I'm by myself. So yeah, I thought I'd just sit down and chat while I do this. Because I really am I'm a chatty cat. Like, I love chatting. So yeah, like I said, I've already edited the vlog up until like dinner time. And like I'm not being funny. I was genuinely sitting like saying to the girls, I was like, do I even like finish finish this vlog? Like I was like, I just think it's pretty shit. Like the last vlog I put out, like I kind of like set out to have like a like a packed like exciting day. Like, but like today's been very much just like mundane. But not in a bad way because I think like I love the mundane. But yeah, it's just been me today. Like. The last one, like, the girls were in it, but it has just been me today. Like, I have just spent the whole day by myself. But I do really enjoy that. I do really feel like I need time alone as a person. Like, I know not everyone's like that, but, like, I need, I need time alone as a person. Like, I really struggle if I, like, haven't been alone by myself, like, in a while. I just need to wash my hands. I can't remember what I'm saying, but on topic of being by yourself, I think it's so important to spend time with yourself. Even just, like, doing your food shop by yourself. Not in the sense, like, you don't have people to do stuff with. But I just think it's so healthy to be able to spend time with yourself. Like, I think it's so important for getting into a relationship or just even your friendships as well to be comfortable spending time with yourself so that you don't then put all your happiness on your significant other and that you can be without them. I don't know if it's just me and I would love to know other people are like this, but I think relationships quite suffocating when you see that person all the time. I look ridiculous. How can anyone take anything I'm saying seriously when I'm wearing this? I'm taking this off because I can't even take myself seriously when I look like this. I'm big on like, I think it's healthy not to see a significant other or even just like a friendship if you're really close in a friendship. I do think it's healthy to not see that person every single day for your own like peace of mind so that you're not like too used to spending like every single day with that person. And then if you break up, you just don't know what to do without them. I maybe just have like a lower social battery than everyone else. I don't know. The same of being like constantly in communication with someone as well. I think that's hard. I speak about this a lot with Eve. We feel like there's like this unwritten expectation now that when you're in a relationship, you have to be in communication like constantly 24 seven. As soon as you wake up, you text them same morning. I'm covered in this face mask. And the last text you send at night is like a good night text hard i think that is hard like friendships are so much easier we say this all the time with friendships you don't have that expectation that like they need to be keeping you updated like all the time and like constantly text them you just kind of like text your friends like when you text your friends like you keep them updated like a few times for the day or like phone them at night type thing friendships are just so much easier in the sense that like you text them when you text them i think that's such a good way to be in any relationship or friendship like see, there's not the expectation that you constantly have to be in touch and i think i've said that to like my previous like people i've been with i feel like i've really gone off track but my point is <laughs> take yourself out for a lunch date by yourself right read sit on your phone i read actually in a restaurant recently i don't know why but in my head like i just didn't know you could like read a book in a restaurant i was sitting there it was in a restaurant in glasgow and then i was like wait I could read right now. And I read in a restaurant and it was brill. I feel like now it sounds like I have really unhealthy relationships with anyone in my life. I literally don't. Right, that was a complete rant. I actually don't even know what I was saying for half of that. But I'm gonna go in the shower and wash all this off. Then we'll just congregate in the kitchen. Good night.